Hey, what up, fellas? So yesterday, I found a spot that had tons of reds, tons of drum, and sheep's head. You wanna know how I found it? This guy, this big doofus died on me two miles from the boat launch, and it was right at sunset. So I had to hop out the boat and walk two miles <laughs> back to where my friend picked me up. But you know what, on the walk there, I had a flashlight, and I was walking through some shallow water, and I saw a ton of reds, sheep's head, and drum. And we've got the shrimps. Look at that. Well, that's a dead shrimp right there. Not what we wanted, but there's a live guy. Thing is, we are gonna be using the same motor. It did start up. Hopefully it runs good today. We'll see about that. Well, one of the tests at least. See if she starts up. I got it running pretty good. Seemed perfect, almost perfect at home. But you know, once you get it on the water where you actually have something to lose, that's when it's gonna mess up most of the time. I'm guessing two pulls. Two pulls and it should start. One, <laughs> that didn't sound good off the rip. Okay, two, just like we thought. Let's see if it idles. Okay, sounds good. Now, definitely gonna be staying close to shore this whole day actually, because if it dies, don't wanna be in some deep water, especially since the wind is pushing away from the shoreline. All right, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Chief. Uh, so, bad news, fellas. We're not in the boat and we're walking. What do you know, we get pretty far out here. Not, not too far, I kept it pretty close today, but, and the motor dies. It just, same thing happened yesterday, man. Just slowly started dying. Pretty, pretty, pretty depressing, but you know what, we are close to our spot, so we might just fish anyway. What's up, buddy? Oh, sometimes you, see, they usually move. They usually move, but sometimes they don't, like that guy. You know, motor died in Stingray Heaven. I like it. <laughs> oh man, yo, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this motor, fellas. You know what? Hmm, I think I can fix it. I think I can fix it, but we'll see. Another guy right here. You gotta give a like for the number of Stingrays. Should we get close? <laughs> I better not play around with them Stingrays. You get stuck by one of them, you're out You're out for fishing for a little bit, I'd say. Not another one, oh my god, chill. Three, right there, golly, this Stingray Evan. Oh my god, dude, there's two more right there. One's, oh my god. Holy, I'm shuffling the rest of the way. Dude, one of them was, he might still be right there, barely visible. Oh, all right, let's load up a shrimp and see what happens. We might have to fish lures actually. I don't know, we'll see. Get a nice shrimp on there. Put them on the treble hook. And we'll see what happens. Fish. Ah, oh, something small. Speckler. Speckler. No way. Unfortunate. What do you want me to tell you, fellas? I can't do the shrimp without the boat. We're going in with lures. Look at that corky right there. A beautiful chartreuse black back corky. I'll be honest with you, fellas. We're going to need a really nice fish to save the day. It's possible, though. It's very possible. Oh, there's a guy. That's a trout. That's a nicer trout. Um, yeah, that's definitely a trout. I expected to catch some reds at this spot. We caught a dinker trout. And now we got, uh, it might be a red, small, tiny red. But I think it's a trout. No, it's a red. Yeah, it's a red. <laughs> Look at him, man. Head shaking like a speckler. Bang, bro! Actually, not bad. I'll take him. Look at it. What he? Look at he? Look! Look, look, look what he did to my corky. <laughs> Gotta be careful fishing a corky when you're wearing waders. Those trebles can mess up the waders faster than anything else. Bang! 
Get him! Shoot. That's a good eater, though. You know what? It's not a speckled trout, but that's an eater. We're fishing the corky. You know what? I think we're going to catch more reds. And I'm still going to use the corky because I want to use it. A lot of people will switch if you're fishing for reds. Exactly. That's why right there. They'll mess it up. Usually you want to save your corksters for those big trout. But... Ah! Something touched my leg. It's the freaking redfish on my... <laughs> it's the redfish on my stringer. I forgot I had him. Y'all know what it is, the egret wedger. If there's redfish there, they gonna eat it. Redfish always easily fall victim just to a straight retrieve, especially on super shallow, super shallow water. So it should be about a foot and a half, one foot up there. Definitely wanna cast to those mullet. Those mullet jumping probably means there's some reds around or trout. those mullet I'm talking oh, yeah. oh my god dude this is a fish Golly. well I was saying with those mullet I'm mostly talking about winter time because during the summer those mullet will be jumping around everywhere but during the winter a lot of times they're really a good indicator of some good predator fish around because there's not so many and they're not just jumping for no reason I thought this guy was gonna be way bigger Dude, they fight, I don't know, man. The one on the corky didn't fight for nothing, but this guy is a fighter and a half. I, I, I might have I believed. Oh my gosh. Golly, dude, how's this guy so powerful? Are you kidding me? What in the world? A shark got a hold of him. This is not even a, a huge red. Golly. <laughs> yeah. All right, buddy, get in here. Let's see how. Oh, this is, this is a bigger one, though. That's why. Not huge. Ah, he's pretty big. Come here, chieftain. Wow, actually, not bad. I'm guessing a good six and a half pounds right there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe smaller. He's kind of fat, though. Ah, shoot. That's almost seven. Six and three quarters. Look at his tail. Interesting, dude, his, his tail's chopped off, but he still has crazy power. That's a keeper. I, we're turning the day around a little bit, boys. A little bit with some nice freaking redfish for the keeping. Man, it still sucks, man. But you know what? Fish make it better. Huh, shallow. <gasps> boys, 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 boys. Oh my freaking God, I did it. I finally did it. I just stepped on a freaking stingray. It freaking attached to my boot, dude. It was attached to my boot, but it did not get me. I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh my god, dude. It was freaking attached to my boot. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, I didn't believe in these boots, but uh I don't know what to say, dude. I don't give I don't give a damn about all the bad luck I've been having. That's kind of bad luck, but I'm so grateful that he did not get me. Now I just want to get out of here freaking safe. I'm done. I stepped and I I just felt like I was stepping on jello. And then I tried to take a step, and I could feel his tail stuck into my boot. He was trying to fly away. I see where he got me, man. I see where he got me. The stinger's not there, but I'm telling you right now, you guys, you got to buy these boots. Wow, dude. Yeah, that's it, dude. Holy cow, dude. Right on my freaking Achilles. Imagine, dude. Imagine my life for the next couple weeks, month, if that freaking guy got me in my Achilles. Holy cow. Good job. Good job, boots. The sun's coming down. We got a cold front coming in. We got no freaking motor. We got about two miles to walk, paddle, 
So we need to get out of here, but I will show you. I'll show you these boots, show you where he got me, and let you know what they are. I don't even know what they're called right now. Funny thing is, I kind of wanted to hate on these boots when I bought them. Well, this is our life now. We're paddling the kayak from, from the front. It's gonna be a long paddle, a long slow paddle. I shoot, last, yet, last night when my motor died, I wasn't paddling. I walked about two miles, but obviously now I'm not feeling too keen on wading through these shallow waters. I had my little light and I was, I was checking everywhere when I was walking last night and I did not see, oh, there's a stingray right there. <laughs> I did not see one stingray last night. <laughs> Today is a different freaking story. So here's the boots that may or may not have saved me. Bart's Bay Armors. They're pretty much specifically designed to prevent stingray stings. Now I was telling you guys I didn't necessarily believe in these boots stopping a big, you know, stingray sting. The guy that makes these boots makes videos of him wearing them and stabbing them with stingray stingers, knives, stuff like that, and uh, it seems to stop them. So I got these boots right when I got them. I took a knife to them to see how resistant they were. I'm not gonna lie, the knife got through kinda, kinda easy. They did have some resistance and it was way better than just some simple neoprene like what would be right here in these uh, other boots I have. A knife, a stinger will just go super easily through this. So if you get hit on the neoprene on these boots, they'll easily, easily go through. On this, this fabric, it's kind of a weird fabric. I thought it was gonna be something a lot heavier. They are pretty light boots. Let's just take a knife to them right now. There's the knife right there. Now the thing is, there's not really a lot of information, at least I couldn't find anything, saying how strong a stingray stab is. Around our waters here, we have two main types of stingrays. We have the Atlantic stingray, which they don't get too big, but maybe this about this big, so they're not gonna be as strong. But then we have some giant southern stingrays that they get huge, <laughs> like that big, and I'm sure they have a ton of muscle. And you know what these stingrays are defending themselves from a lot is some big old sharks. And sharks have some pretty tough skin, so I imagine they, they're they pretty strong and pretty efficient at piercing stuff, so. so I'm not so sure about this. You can see right here, this is originally where I thought I got stabbed, and I may have been stabbed there, but it, it does not go very deep at all. It might have just been a glancing strike. If we look, there is a little piercing right right there. And that, that's more where I think I actually got stabbed because it, it, it felt like when that stinger was in there and he was trying to fly away, it felt like it was pulling from a lower location. So either it was multiple stabs or there's one main stab right here. That's, that's too close, buddy. That's way too close. Let's take a look at how easy it is to stab through them. So the guy who makes the videos on these, Bart, I'm assuming, I'm not sure, but uh, he, he puts them on and he, he'll put on the boots and then he'll start stabbing them. So he has a lot of belief with them, but it doesn't look like he's putting his full effort into stabbing, obviously. So let's do a few test stabs and see how tough these are against a somewhat, somewhat sharp knife. I haven't sharpened it in a while. It's not really all that sharp, but it's got a semi pointy tip. Let's stab it up. Seems like right there, it's doing pretty good, I'd say. Now the thing is, we're stabbing it where there's nothing in there. So if your leg's right up against it, it has something to push against. So it should stab more easily. I'm not gonna put my leg in there though. Let's try and find something else. All right, we got a towel with a little cup holder in there. Now it's not gonna be able to push through. Let's we'll see how easy it is to stab. Yeah, right there, it seems like it's going through. <laughs> Pretty easy. Let's see. Should be able to see those little stabs and those pretty much seem like they do go all the way through. It looks like some of them did make it just barely all the way through and some of them did not. So you know what? Definitely better than nothing, I'd say. So these are the Bart's Bay Armor boots. I can't say I have 100% confidence in these guys. They may have saved me, uh, you know, this trip of fishing. And I'll tell you what, I'm definitely gonna keep wearing these. The good thing about Stingray Stings is most of them are gonna be a lot lower from when you're stepping on them. So all the parts that are gonna get stabbed is all in these rubber areas, which adds a little bit even more extra protection, especially more resistant than these Forever Last Rayguard boots that a ton of people wear. See. Even if we're just looking at the rubber parts, it has a lot more rubber coverage. If you do get stabbed right here in these, you should be good, because that's 
That's some pretty thick stuff. And one more big negative, these things are pretty freaking expensive. I bought them just because I do not wanna be out of the game for fishing if I get stabbed with a stingray. So it was definitely worth it for me. I was a little bit disappointed with how resistant they are. It, a knife gets through pretty easily. Over these ray guards though, these are definitely a lot more comfortable. They're, even though there's more material here, these are, these are a lot lighter. I'll tell you what, even though a stingray almost got me, I don't hate them because they're just defending themselves, you know? If you did get me, I would probably hate them though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Be careful, I love you guys very much. We'll talk to you guys later.